What's going on, YouTube? How is everybody today? It's very good to hear. Uh, so, I did a blog TV a couple nights ago, and we got to talking about Animal Collective, and that led me to the topic of the worst album I own. Probably the worst album anybody owns. The worst album out there. And that comes from Animal Collective member A.V. Tear and his wife, Kriya Brecken? Uh, Kriya? I'm not quite sure how to pronounce her name. She's from this band called Moom, or Mum, M-U-M, with an accent on the U. And A.V. Tear is, of course, from Animal Collective founding member. Uh, Pull Hair Rubai came out in 2007 on Animal Collective's record label, Paw Tracks. And I've never been a big Anko kind of fan. I like Panda Bear's person pitch. So I decided I'd try to delve more into their side project area. And voila, I found this in the record store, reasonably priced. Uh, didn't say anywhere on it that it was complete and utter shit anywhere. And I was like, okay, I think something this bad would have a disclaimer saying, caution, awful. But anyway, so I got it brought it home, and sure enough, the entire album is recorded backwards. One whole album, A side, B side, I don't know how many tracks are on here, I didn't count those before I started. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight tracks, all reversed. Uh, first I thought my record player was broken, but wasn't. Sure enough, all the tracks are backwards, and they're not enjoyable, they don't sound too experimental. I don't know if playing your music backwards for an entire album is quite... I guess, yeah, it's an experiment, so it is experimental, but it doesn't sound good in any way. It just sounds backwards. There's whooshes and guitars that get loud. It's like kind of noisy. Really hard to explain it other than it's backwards. You have a song. If you've ever heard a song backwards, you've heard this. It's nothing that stands out. There are a lot of bloggers online who said they enjoyed the album. It sounds extraterrestrial, and uh, they commend A.V. for his dedication to his musical instinct and stuff like that, and his brave novelty. Someone actually said brave novelty online. I guess it kind of is a novelty, but it's really... I found it really frustrating to listen to. It was a real big chore to write a review for this and try to think of anything to say that would be constructive to add to the whole pull hair rubai conversation if there even is one like i hear the songs played forward are pretty good but i haven't listened to them because what would be the point if it's not an album of it like who cares i'm just listening to a youtube clip big deal like it's almost ambience kind of folksy in a backwards way the story goes if you don't know the story is that they were writing all these songs and recording them into this 8-track player and then they went to the studio to put them in a 2-track player and somewhere along the line the 2-track player broke and these guys are so busy that they didn't listen to the music they worked on for two months and then they finally got this 2-track player, listened to the music and they liked the sound so much, they're like, cool, alright. I don't know what it sounded like. But anyway, I guess it was around Christmas time? I could be making that part up. Some part where there's strange weather, some bad weather going on. And they were watching a David Lynch movie called Inland Empire that inspired them at the very last minute to release the entire album of their material and all their work in Songcraft backwards. Uh, I read a quote by A.B. Tear apologizing to people if they were bummed out by it, so I'm kind of happy that he apologized at least. That's kind of nice. It's too late after I already bought the album on vinyl, trying to give his frickin' band a chance, and I'm getting kicked in the nuts, but... You know, it's totally kind of lazy. Not lazy in the sense that, you know, they did write all these songs, and that's not laziness, but lazy just to... And that's all you do with this, is put it on in reverse. And, you know, it's pointless. It's not all that creative to put your album out in reverse either, so I'd say it's uncreative. I don't know, but thankfully and mercifully, like, this whole backwards thing didn't catch on. There has been no backwardsness that I've noticed in other Animal Collective music or in other albums released completely backwards that I've noticed. Uh, I think what would have been a good idea is for these guys, because they really like this album, they put it out and they're like, whoa man, it sounds great backwards. Extraterrestrial sounding, sure. But 
to listen to these songs backwards and just try to write them backwards, but forwards, you know what I mean? Like, hear them backwards and try to recreate the backwardness like that, and then you'd actually have a forward song that doesn't sound like backwards shit, like get inspired by this, but don't subject your fans to this. What is this? It's the worst. Like, album art's kind of cool, superimposed pictures, kind of cool. Got little kids with some blue and purple hue playing in the grass there, having a good time, you know. But... Yeah, in my opinion, this album is just so frustrating to listen to and not rewarding, not barely even music. I don't even categorize it as music because it's all backwards, right? Easily my least favorite album ever. Uh, Pull Hair Rubai by A.V. Tear and Kriya Kriya Brecken. Sorry, I can't pronounce that name. I don't, I don't know. But 2007 Podtrax Records. Uh, we'd like to know what you guys think of this whole backwards thing. Give this album a listen. There are tracks that are backwards on YouTube, so give it a listen. Tell me what you think. You know, I'm very interested just in your thoughts, I guess. Peace.